In a world where dimensions collide and heroes rise, comes a new line of 6.5 inch action figures with 31 points of articulation. Brace yourselves for the dark realm of Alfaria, a place where souls are forged and dark forces loom. Alfaria is home to Vortex Prime, a portal to every corner of creation. In this world, demonic serpents denied a physical form seek escape to tempt, torment, and possess creatures in every realm. To guard the Vortex from these sinister beings, elite warriors are called from diverse animal worlds to guard the portal. Introducing the Fearless Virili, the King of Beasts, armed with a massive broadsword, plasma rifle, and lion shield. This warrior commands attention on the battlefield. Build your lion army and let the clash of steel lead them to victory. Prepare for the mighty wolf, Luna, a symbol of loyalty and unmatched strength. With sharp crescent moon blades attached to his forearm gauntlets, this hero never backs down from a challenge. Create a pack of wolves and let their razor-sharp weapons echo through the battleground. Witness Commander Seelock, the enemy traitor of the combat creatures and commander of the Soul Serpent Army. This master of the deep seas navigates any aquatic battleground with ease. He is armed with a large shark sword adorned with razor-sharp teeth blades. Assemble a fleet of sharks and strike terror above or below the waves. Unleash the unparalleled might of Bruin Skull, who now stands as both traitor and ally to the Soul Serpent. Due to their otherworldly influence, wields razor-sharp claws that double as impenetrable shields. This formidable warrior obliterates any opposition that dares to confront him. Gather a tribe of bears and allow their vengeance to reshape the battlefield. Behold, the combat creatures. Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I got a little something different for you today. The fine folks over at Morphonauts have started their own Kickstarter campaign now for the upcoming Combat Creatures. We got a little bit of a look-see, a lesson early, right, to show you exactly what you can expect to get if you go ahead and back this new Kickstarter. So you have these new, really detailed out, 6.5 inch Figures kicking it off with Bruin Skull, right? He's the evil bear warrior, we'll just say, or whatever you want him to be. <laughs> but all of these will come fully decked out, painted up, if you back the Kickstarter. Likewise with Sea Lock. So we're taking a look at early prototypes, right? Which was so nice of them to send that out. Thank you very much again, Bo. Great to see you. Great to hear from you glad to see the kickstarter is doing amazing so with these new figures you have the various joints you got the ball pins you got everything that will be included for this kickstarter campaign and if you head over you can see a lot more details you can see all the parts and pieces how all the figures are assembled but what's really nice about these is that they're all very much modular you can change parts and pieces around of course the hands the heads and whatnot but then you also have things like these giant for lack of a better term wolverine bear claws right those are very very cool again very cybernetic very animalistic they all have little joints so you can use them handheld or as you'll soon see you can port them into various places that are on these figures now you do get a bunch of extra hands all of them rendered very nicely. So for the instance of Brune Skull, you get open hands and weapon holding hands, trigger finger hands. You get the idea, right? And you get these larger weapons, like a huge, I'm sure bears use these all the time, but a gatling gun, right? For lack of a better term, whatever you want to call it. But again, it's very modular. It comes in parts and pieces, which you can then swip swap with the other figures and their weapons. And I totally dig that. You can make larger weapons, you can add, you can subtract, you can do whatever you want. And in modern day action figures, that's actually a really cool thing. I like being able to inter swap and change it out at my leisure. Now, right here, 
is one of those portholes that I was talking about, right? Now, you don't have to do this, but essentially, yes, you can take that gauntlet and port it onto the gun. So you have a bear gauntlet gun. <laughs> That's the beauty of toys, people, right? You can do anything your imagination allows, along with this really cool cybernetic bear head, right? So it's a little bit different from the one that's on there now, but this is meant for army building. You can have robotic bears as opposed to more realistic flesh and blood, right? You get the idea. And on the actual figure itself, this is very cool. I like the heft of these figures, and I just like how detailed and sculpted out that they are. You have a very realistic looking bear head, and then you have all this nonsense armor all over them, and that really stands out as being a fun toy. And I like, again, all the different parts and pieces, all the armor, everything is just so detailed out, and then you're able to swip swap and change those parts at your leisure. Not all the parts, mind you, but just in looking at the legs and the feet, which this guy's got some big old peg holes at the bottom, right? It's just nicely done. And again, keep in mind, just want to point this out. These are early prototypes, so some things may not work just as efficiently as the final product. But you have the articulation in the head, which will spin all the way around. And I like how they've adjusted for the shoulder pads. You really don't knock into them at all. When you look at the shoulder pads, which you can swip swap between the various characters, they are on a pin so that you can rotate it up and down and move it around so that when you want to move the arms, it really doesn't hinder. And I'll tell you honestly, they're very solid action figures. I was impressed. They're not this gummy type, if this is what the final product will entail, along with swapping out armor, swapping out the belts, all of it. It's very modular, including on the back. You can stick that there if you want. The sky's the limit in terms of what you want to do. But you can also give them a sense of a, a WWE belt, right? Nice and big. With the arm articulation, it will go out around this far. Again, it has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, Moving the big shoulder pads up and down will allow you to execute a little bit more momentum and articulation within the actual sculpt, but you get the general sense of everything. Now again, I have to go kind of easy with these, but rest assured, the final products will be very, very sturdy and able to be played with, along with the hands and the portholes, so that you can take those big old menacing bear claws and port that in, and then you have this huge bear claw accessory which is on the wrist, right, the forearm, while you could still hold weapons. Now, you do have a great ab crunch going on. He has waist swivel, and then he has a waist itself. So lots of momentum, lots of articulation, and for that I definitely appreciate it. You can definitely get the legs kicking all the way off to the sides, up, back, you name it. He has a bare thigh swivel, as most bears do, and then he has double jointed knees, which I can show you on the back, actually goes all the way down of course to the feet which have rock and they have a little bit of ankle pivots but i would like to see just a little bit more in that sense but in posing these out i really didn't find any type of problem minus that the feet could be a little bit more articulated in the sense of rocker but he holds the weapons he looks great it's a giant bear in armor holding a futuristic sci-fi weapon now from bears to now sharks, we have Sea Lock, and he has this very cool looking sword, right? It's got a bone tooth saw blade, sword blade, right? It's very detailed out. Again, keep in mind these will all be fully painted, and then you have everything that the figure does, right? You get extra little parts and pieces, extra pins and whatnot. Again, head over to the Kickstarter to see more. You have the modular gun, which you can swap out parts and pieces with then Brune's Skull's gun, so that's nice to see. All of them are mostly three pieces, so you have the butt of the gun, the front, the middle. You can even just keep the middle if you want a short gun, right? Like I said, sky's the limit. It's just very cool. Some particle effects might be nice as well. You do get extra hands, and I like that these are clearly for sea lock, right? He's got the little fins webbing in between the fingertips. You get an extra belt buckle. <laughs> 
or just his insignia, right? At this point, you get this cool shark shield, or again, a shark chomper, whatever you want to do with it. It's the same thing as Bruin Skull's big old claws, which again, you can swap those in and out. And keep in mind, he also comes with an extra head portrait, which is more in the vein of a robotic type shark, again, for army building. That was not available for this video, but rest assured, if you back the project, you will get the extra head portrait for Sealock. Speaking of which, I have to say, when it comes to all the animals that they've picked for this Kickstarter, a, a giant armored shark is definitely going to be my favorite. <laughs> And I love what they've done here. He's got little flippered feet. He has tinier peg holes on the bottom. So it'll be interesting to see what the final product will entail. On the back, again, very modular. Very much inner swapping parts and pieces. Yada yada, the big old gauntlets, shark skin. I love the sculpted details. There's nothing soft here. It's all very rendered out. And for that... I definitely appreciate it. So then when it comes to the articulation, it's going to be mostly the same. We'll just say you have the big old shark head, which again, you get some decent head articulation up, down, and then it spins. Doesn't knock into the big shoulder pads, which act accordingly, just as Bruins skulls did. Although I do find you get a little bit more up and down as opposed to Bruins skulls. So that's nice to see, especially when you want to get Sea Lox's arms going all the way up just a little bit more, right? I know a lot of people with articulation love to see that. Bicep, double jointed elbows. This one works a lot better in the prototype. A <laughs> lot more of, I'm not afraid this is going to snap at any time. And then you have the hands, which you can swip swap out. You got the modular piece where you can put the big old shark shield, right? Nice ab crunch on these guys. It's nice to see sharks these days having abs, right? They don't get enough credits for their six packs. And then you have waist as well. You can swap out the belt buckle at your leisure. You go a lot less fancy, more subdued if you're that type of sea lock. And you have the chest as well. The legs, they'll kick up. They'll kick all the way out. You have double jointed knees, thigh swivel. Just everything works on this guy. And it's really cool to see that again with the feet much like Bruin skull i'd like to see just a little bit more rocker in that just to really get those poses with the weapons right get the feet a little bit more flat on the floor but yeah overall a shark with a giant weapon and a shield that's very cool and then one other thing i would like to see would be a shark tail or just inner swappable tails between some of these animals because when you have sea lock all posed out with his giant sword i mean a tail would come in handy, right? If you miss with a sword, whack, can knock you. But that is just very cool to see. They stand well, they display nicely. If this be your type of action figures, or heck, if you're really into, let's say, battle beasts, huh? Which is, I think, what they're kind of going for here. You would probably like these. These are definitely a spiritual successor to the battle beasts of old, right? Now in 6.5 inch fashion. And speaking of battle beasts right these are again taller figures more modern articulation but for those of you out there thinking well, what about battle beasts well the combat creatures definitely have you covered so you can get smaller versions that will actually fit in with your prior released vintage battle beasts figures and these will actually be ones you print yourself so the 6.5 inch figures are what you'll be ordering, what the Kickstarter entails, but then they will give you the digital printout readings, everything that entails you to then make these and print these yourself. And for that, I gotta say, if you're a fan of the old Battle Beasts, you're probably definitely going to dig these. And I like what Bo has done here in keeping that in mind and then properly scaling all of these figures to then go and expand your old collection if that be your thing. Now, it will have minimal articulation just like the old battle beasts for these newer combat creature figures but the sculpts everything is detailed out they will have weapons which you can pop out of their hands and then of course swip swap and use at your leisure you can have them holding it don't have them holding it it's up to you the arms move nothing in the legs nothing in the head nothing at the waist but again very detailed out so this would be for a miniature size combat creature bruin skull and then you of course have sea lock which in my head i was thinking they're kind of like transformers armada with transformers and minicons right you could have these little minions and send them out and do your bidding i don't know 
what I'm talking about anymore. Then you have Varelian, right? Which is also available in the 6.5 inch figure fashion if you want to head over to Kickstarter. But again, he looks cool as a mini combat creature along with the wolf Lunar. And that is very cool. I like all the little weapons. Again, very detailed out. I like what you got going here. This has a lot of fun that you saw back in the 80s and 90s with all these weirdo toys we enjoyed. And if you wanted to see how these new combat creatures scale with more modern company action figures, from NECA to McFarlane to Marvel Legends Hasbro to Jack Specific, Wrestling, Super 7, Transformers, I think they'll go really well with lines such as Wrestling and Marvel Legends, Turtles and whatnot. They might be a little bit too short for, let's say, DC Multiverse. But... That will wrap it up for my quick early look at what you can expect if you are a backer for the brand new Morphonauts Kickstarter Combat Creatures. And again, thank you to my friend Bo for setting this out for the purposes of this video. I had an awesome time checking these out. I love seeing prototype figures. These look great. And be sure to check out his Kickstarter for a lot more photos. You can see all the backing tiers and what you can expect to get. The figure is going to run you about 35 bucks plus shipping depending on where you are, but definitely give them a good look. And the Kickstarter is definitely going very well so far. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything combat creatures and battle beasts if you want to. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, go and check out that Kickstarter. It's just a click away down in the description below. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you